Pattern searching is an important problem in computer science. When we do search for a string in a notepad or word file or in a browser or in database, pattern searching algorithms are used to show the search results. What should be the behavior of a pattern searching algorithm? When a text of length n and a pattern of length m is given to the algorithm as input, it should output the index number at which the pattern is found in the string. For example, if we give the algorithm the text, the, this is a text text and a pattern to find is test. It should output an index number 10 as the text pattern in the text is at index number 10. In this video, we are solving this problem using a brute force approach called naive algorithm. Here, the idea is we maintain two pointers, one which tracks the searching text and the other pointer tracks the pattern. You will understand this when I explain it with an example. Now, just move on. The algorithm compares the first character of pattern with searchable text. If match is found, pointers in both the strings are advanced. If match not found, pointer of text is incremented and pointer of pattern is reset. This process is repeated until the end of the text. What do I mean by it? Let's take an example. We have an example text and we have to find out the pattern A A B A. From the text, according to the idea, we keep two pointers. Let's name I to point the strings iteration and J for the patterns iteration. Strings pointer that is I starts at the start of the string that is at index 0 and J starts at I. Now the pointers are at their places. Now the operation begins i is at 0 and j is at i. j starts to check if the current element is equal to the pattern's first element. In this case, it is yes. It moves to the next element. Now again, it checks for the pattern's second element. Yes, it matches. The j pointer moves to the next element. Now it checks whether the current element is equal to the pattern's third element. Yes moves to the next element and the current element is equal to the pattern's fourth element and as yes, the pattern is found. Now let's print out the index at which the pattern is found. Now i moves one step further as j is equal to 1. j checks if the current element is equal to the pattern's first element. Yes, it matches. j moves one step further. Now it checks whether the current element is equal to the pattern's second element. No. It does not match. J pointer stops and I moves one step further. This process continues until the end of the string. Note that J only moves 4 position, that is the size of the pattern. Try to code it yourself and if you find any difficulties, you can see my code. Now, let's look at the code. You have a basic structure of a C file, we have the header file, we have also included a string.h header file which gives us the strlen function which is used to find the length of the string. We have the main function. In the main function, we have declared the text which contains the string or the main text from which the pattern have to be found. We have the pattern that is AABA. We print the text to compare it with the index we find out after the uh, search is called. Now the search is called. The search function takes the parameters text and the pattern to be found. We create two variables n and m. n contains the size of the main text and m contains the size of the pattern. Then we implement a for loop which runs from 0 to n minus m. In the for loop we create a variable called j which ke keeps track whether the pattern is found or not. In that for loop we create another for loop which runs from j 0 to length of the pattern. In that for loop we statement which checks if the pattern is not found then it breaks this for loop and i is incremented. After that for loop, we have an if condition which checks whether j is equal to equal to m, meaning if the pattern is found, it prints out the index where the pattern is found. 
here as you can see the output is found it is found at index 0 you can see a a b a is found at index 0 then is found at 9 here as you can see at the ninth index we can find the pattern a b a a and at index 13 we can also find a b a a pattern hence the algorithm is working the source code is in the description so do check it out the time complexity of the naive algorithm for pattern searching is big o of m times n minus m where m is the size of the pattern and n is the size of the text or the mainstream now why to use naive algorithm first it is the simplest method which uses brute force approach secondly it is a straightforward approach of solving the problem and finally it does not require any pre-processing it directly starts comparing both strings character by character now you have the basic understanding of pattern searching using naive algorithm congratulations and signing up